Hi, I'm Tony Segali. I'm a hand lettering artist specializing in gold leaf, but I've slowly moved into somewhat of a full-time watercolor career. I get a lot of inspiration from just life in general. Driving around, uh, something hits me, I pull over and do a quick line sketch. Sometimes I'll take pictures, or if I see a pet or someone's animal, livestock, anything that just inspires me at that moment, I look for their shapes, I look for light that hits them, and a lot of times just the movement of what's going on right there, just the feeling. As a kid, I doodled, did some sketches, even my mom found underneath my mattress that she didn't like. So I was on, on the way to doodling a lot of things. I ended up getting a job in high school in a retail meat market, and every week I would do the signs for the counter. And eventually it turned into a friend telling me, hey, you, why don't you paint signs? Because he even saw me playing with calligraphy on the side. And I thought about it and I said, yeah, I think I can do that. That evolved to me learning how to hand letter and work those portfolios into signs. And then eventually it was my younger daughter who would walk home from school, stop at a gallery and said, hey, dad, why aren't you putting paintings in these galleries? So it kind of made me think, well, maybe I can do my own paintings instead of what a customer wants their sign to say. And that's how it evolved. I always found watercolors to be the most luminous medium you can find, but I also found out that it's also one of the most challenging to work with. You really have to plan, plan ahead, just like you would do on a reverse glass gold leaf piece. You have to plan ahead what you're gonna paint with watercolor. I've come to learn that no matter what I do, I get so deeply involved in it. I have a passion for it that I can't let go. Every new painting is a new lesson. Failure to me is a stimulus. If my risks are little, the rewards are little, so I always challenge that, but I'm willing to share. And because of that, I teach brush lettering classes. I teach gold leaf classes, and I teach a lot of watercolor classes. I will be showing different size watercolors and different subject matter. You'll see quite a few landscapes. You might see a few domestic animals um, and you might see a few abstracts. I never really get stuck in one subject matter. I get more involved in how can I make the whites pop in the paper? How can I make a nice composition? So that's what I intend to display at the Catalyst and I hope to see you there on February 3rd for the reception from five to eight.